Hi folks and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to test the new VS Code experimental version for the new MacBook Pro M1 chips. So as always guys, without further ado, we jump over to my Safari browser, search for VS Code. Now we are going to the VS Code website. So the very important thing is to not download the latest version and head over to the Insider's Edition. So Keep in mind guys, this specific version is experimental, so it should not be used in a productive environment, but it should show some enhancements for the new M1 chips. So we go to the ARM64 experimental link and the download should start and the download is already started. So yeah, pretty fast, 107 megabytes. As always, decompressing, now we get the, I guess it's orange compared to the usually uh, blue. VS Code icon, so yes, I want to open it. And there we go, that is the experimental version. Let's see if we can get something on the about page about this. Okay, so version 1.53.0 exploration. Yeah, the latest commit, so we're running here Electron Shure, Chrome Engine, Node.js, V8. And there we go, Darwin ARM64, it's my operating system, and this version should be explicitly built for this version. So, guys, you know that I will just open my portfolio page and see if there is any difference actually compared to the other project. So let's head over to open folder, which should be the, the correct way, portfolio, open up my portfolio. Um, node modules are already installed. So go over to terminal, hit npm start and see what will happen. So this project was written in React, as you guys see the React script start. And for my taste, that was pretty fast. So let's open the usual or the original uh, Intel version. So you see there, startup time. It takes quite a while. Surely this is running through Rosetta 2. So you have some um, translation there, emulation. So we open up our pop map before you here as well. And you see things pretty, pretty slow compared to the optimized version. Head over to npm start. Yeah, something else is running on the port. Sure. Okay, that, that was also quite fast. So uh, at first sight, I, I would say if you open up the app, so let's close both of them. Um, open up the activity monitor, as you guys have requested this multiple times. So we do have 8 gigs here in the baseline 13 inch MacBook Pro. We do have 5 gigs already used memory. I have a couple of apps open as you see there. Logic Pro takes up quite a while. Dropbox whatsoever. I would say just normal usage. And we already have 3 gigs uh, swap used. So let's open up code, the standard version. Ah, it takes a couple of seconds. I think it was a little bit faster than, than the first start. And now let's open up the experimental version of code. <laughs> Boom. It's not instant, but very close to instant. So there is, I, I would say, a huge, huge improvement. Let's again start up the server. Let's see the usage in the background. So the application is built. There is hot reloading, of course. So I can go somewhere in my components about me, just say JavaScript and TypeScript. I'll reload uh, JavaScript TypeScript. You see now memory usage increased to 6.3 gigabytes. So swap usage is 3.3. So, um, well, you see now I have two instances of VS Code running, I have Logic Pro recording the audio, I have a screen recording on with QuickTime, so quite quite a lot of things um, which will go on at the same time, and you see no performance issues at all. I mean, surely the, the memory used um, to swap would be much better probably than a 16 gig version, but you're totally fine with the 8 gigs here. Um, just for reference, I do have the 13 inch MacBook Pro M1, the 8 gigs of uh, SSD drive, and a 256 gigabyte of storage. I do use quite a lot of storage right now because I'm recording all those videos and store them on my desktop. All right, guys, so that was 
a very very quick start very quick test of the optimized version i would say i mean surely there is enough i have tested here besides of opening which is quite faster than the intel version and building and deploying a React application with Node.js. So that's quite fast. That's usable, I would say. We could do run or open another project, which is a .NET 5 application. Just for reference, so let's go over to dev, .NET, web app, web app test. I have no idea what's the difference. Let's open up web app. Let's fire up the terminal. Let's fire up .NET run. I can install the extensions for C Sharp, sure. They are already installed, okay, yeah, it's fine. Let's go in our program, okay, yeah, startup. I'm not sure if we do have actually any controllers in here. Okay, we do get a problem here. That's process architecture ARM64 is currently not supported by a .NET Core debugger. Debugging will not be available. It's a .NET 5 project, so application is running. And we do see um, that's actually uh, the web app, which we have run. Um, just one interesting thing is the debugger is not yet supported on ARM64 versions, which is quite interesting. But I mean, a debugging is essential, so I would not suggest buying just one of these M1 MacBooks for .NET 5 at the moment. You can uh, write your software, you can run it as you see, but somehow you cannot debug it. Let's just test it out just to make sure you don't get anything wrong here. So let's hit a break point let's go to the pages go just here and check if the the logger is we do not get the menu for for actually debugging here run start debugging and uh, dot core yeah it's, it's not configured and uh, don't attach your local dot core console app that's probably fine so now let's see what's happening application is building up it's restoring I'm quite interested if actually the debugger will hit. The c -Sharp extension is still downloading packages. Please see progress. Yeah, it's not supported. So as I said before, uh, .NET Core is somehow not yet ready for prime time on those machines. So if you're using those, I would just wait if there is an update on, on the debugger to get things working. I guess the same applies if you're using the Intel version of VS Code because the debugging has nothing to do with the IDE actually. So well guys, uh, we, we have seen that the VS Code is working. The new ARM version, the optimized version starts blazingly fast compared to the Intel version. So guys, that's very promising for the futures. As I said uh, multiple times in my last videos, if you are using those machines for web development, it should be fine. If you're using it for backend, like uh, .NET, if you've seen uh, debugging seems to be an issue. Other parts, other programs have issues as well. Uh, just wait a little bit. Um, check regular if your program language, your uh, SDK is ready for the new machine, then there should be no problem. Otherwise, just wait a little bit longer. All right, guys, uh, I will catch you in the next one. As always, if you have any wishes for future videos, just let me know in the comments below and have a good day. Bye.